Beloved, here is Pastor Alistair Begg's first public response since he suggested that a grandmother attend her grandson's transgender wedding and bring a gift for them. He is announcing that after this evening's service, he will have a meeting with the elders of Parkside Church to discuss this ongoing issue. Listen to what he says, and then I'll be back with a couple of closing thoughts. In the context of the evening, I want to do what I'm not prepared to do this morning, and that is to acknowledge uh, the amazing amount of uh, traffic that there has been a noise on the internet in relationship to what I told you about uh, some months ago. And um, uh, my colleagues felt it would be good if I said something about this. So I don't want to do it now as it goes out into cyberspace, but I'm happy to do it. It's for, it's for our church family. And um, I said jokingly to somebody, you know, my, um, in making an attempt at compassion, I, uh, I ended up, you know, starting a, a massive fire. I would fully have anticipated some of the other things I've said would be far, far, you know, far more inflammatory than this, but um, we should have known that, you know, beg wouldn't manage compassion. So let's pray. And Pastor Begg, that is what we have been doing and will be doing, praying. I hope that he will not only make a statement for Parkside Church, but for his listeners across the country and around the world as well. You see, his original statement was not private. He made it on a public podcast. So most certainly a public response will also be in order. And I pray that he will, and that it will be one that aligns with the rightly divided biblical truth. All of us are fallible. There would be absolutely nothing wrong with Pastor Begg who I plan to continue to listen to, saying, I was wrong. I misspoke. Please forgive me. In fact, it might be a most refreshing and welcome thing, considering all the unconscionable pridefulness of so many pastors and preachers flooding the internet these days. We are praying for you and with you, Brother Begg. I hope you'll come to the biblical conclusion, sir. Now, I still intend to post my video on this issue later tonight because I believe there is a particular thing that we all need to remember as we venture along this path where scripture is becoming increasingly challenged by godless cultural norms. So look for that as well. God bless. Mm -hmm.